Hi, we recently looked at this low boy light stand by Matthews and today we are continuing this dual review with looking at this Lishui or Lishui light. It's called the Edge 1380 AVL LED. So this is what we're going to take a look at today. So let's begin. Founded almost 15 years ago, Yoyo Lishui Film and Technology Equipment has been making lights for quite some time now. More recently, some of their edge lights have become pretty well known. These are a series of LEDs which are built in a way where the diodes are inside the sides of the panel and not emitting light directly and hence produce a softer light. The light that we shall be looking at today is one of the largest and most powerful from this range which actually uses a somewhat different method of backlighting and is called Lishue Edge 1380 AVL. The 1380 AVL is very well built. Most of the light is made out of metal, aluminum in this case, possibly apart from some of the protective pieces on the sides of the panel which hold the pretty well made barn doors. These are probably some sort of hard plastic. We would actually consider making them rubberized. Nothing feels loose or flimsy with this light and when working with the unit it feels extremely solid. The 1380 has a large metal yoke. It functions well although the locking mechanism which is a rosette based is a bit hard to lock sometimes. It could have been great if the yoke would have had the S shape that some of the new ones adopted. This way you could tilt the light downwards even more. The beefy metal structure contributes to the total weight of the unit, close to 5 kilograms or just under 11 pounds. This isn't as heavy as the BBNS Pipeline Remote Phosphor LED 4 bank light that we recently reviewed here, but it's still pretty hefty. In terms of size, you're looking at 63 by 38 centimeters or 24 by 15 inches. Still portable, but definitely something you want to take with your car on location and not in your hand. Talking about transporting this light, ours came with a carrying case, you might need to buy your own separately. It does the job and is well padded, although we recently came across much higher end lighting carrying bags, which you will see in some of our upcoming lighting reviews, so the bar these days is very high in this respect. The 1380 AVL can be powered using a V-mount battery with a built-in V-mount adapter which is fixed to the back of the light or using AC power which is how we used it. It comes with a power brick which we attach to the yoke. On the company website it is stated that you can power it using Sony NPF style batteries but we are unsure of how exactly you can do that. Using the mains, the light works for countless hours without getting too hot. If you are using it with a V-mount battery, note that it needs 100 watts of power to run. The 1380 AVL is super simple to operate. It has an on-off switch and two dials, one for power and one for color temperature. Both of the dials turn in clicks. The power in 1% increments from 10% to 100% and the temperature goes from 3200 Kelvin and up to 5600 Kelvin in 100 degree increments. The light also has a DMX in and out and an XLR 15 volts DC type connector that connects to the power brick. In terms of power output, we have tested the light with our new and super handy Siconic C700 spectrometer, we shall talk about it more in a second and a full review is coming later this year and we got a reading of about 1790 lux at 1 meter or 3 feet at 5600 Kelvin and 1570 lux at 30. 200 Kelvin at the same distance. This is pretty respectable, though significantly lower than the claimed 3300 locks at the distance of 1 meter, which is pretty strange and we are currently checking this out with the manufacturer and we will update the article on LensVid if we get some answers. Light quality is where the 1380 really shines. According to our measurements, at 5600 Kelvin we are looking at a CRI of 96.9 and at 3200 Kelvin it is 95.6, definitely pro level quality. The color setting was also pretty accurate with 5600 Kelvin on the light measuring at 5700 Kelvin and 3200 Kelvin as 3225 Kelvin. You can watch how the light changes color and intensity when we shot our color checkerboard. One thing to note, despite being considered a soft light, we did feel that we needed to add diffusion with either fabric or a panel diffuser. Interestingly, this solution didn't only diffuse the light and reduce the power, but also seemed to change the color of the light slightly by about 200 degrees Kelvin, which we didn't know until we actually measured the light. 
So let's conclude this review. We have been working with the 1380 AVL for well over a month now. We have used it for several commercial productions that we have been doing, mostly talking head type videos for different companies and it performed admirably. The only real concern that we had with this light was the size and weight of the unit and our need to carry a heavy duty light stand for it, such as the Matthews Low Boy that we reviewed here recently. Together they create a powerful combo but they are also very heavy together. Despite being an edge light, we still felt that the 1380 AVL required to be softened a bit more for our shoots. We used a white fabric or a diffuser, as we mentioned. It would have been nice if Lishway came up with the dedicated accessories for this light, such as a softbox or a dedicated diffuser board that fits on the light or on the barn doors to soften the light just a bit more. In terms of pricing, we could find the 1380 AVL sold under its own brand only in the UK, where you're looking at about £500, currently a bit under $650. It is possible that this model is sold in the US under a different brand name, these things are quite common with some manufacturers, but this price it represents a very attractive and pretty powerful and robust option as long as you're not planning on carrying this light around too much. So this was our look at the LS Edge 1380 AVL LED light. You can read the full review including all of the tests that we have done here on lensvid.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.